Okay, guys, we're going to look at how we can how we can construct these uh, compound solids. These these uh, problems number twelve and thirteen. Okay. Now, first off, let's identify how to find the volume. First, you look at the 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 um, the base. The base is this L shape. This L shape consists of two rectangles. Okay. A rectangle whose uh, dimensions are 2 by 5. You should see that's 5. It's, it's 3 and another 2. So it's 2 by 5 for 10 units. And then this other rectangle, which is 2 by 4, which is 8. So the base should be 18 and, and the, uh, the height would be 8. So we've got a 2 by 5 and a 2 by 4 uh, rectangle that we're going to form and we're going to push it back and find its uh, volume, okay? So here we go into Sketchpad, uh, SketchUp to create that. First off, I want to I want to pull this thing around so that I'm looking uh, in my uh, blue-red plane. Uh, I'm going to have to take Susan out for the time being. I'm going to, okay, um, start creating my rectangle, but I got to take note, I'm going to start at the origin and uh, the first dimension is going to be 2, okay? And then we're going to pull it up uh, 5. So I'm going to key in there 2 by 5, okay? Uh, and we'll just keep it in inches. 2 inches, uh, comma, 5 inches. All right, going to enter that. Now that, of course, is, seems very small, so we're going to have to, we're going to have to, uh, Zoom in on that, okay? Zoom in, zoom in, zoom in, and then pan so we can get it more into our view, okay? Maybe, maybe zoom in some more. All right, zoom in some more, and then pan to pull it around. Okay, so that's good enough right there. Now we're gonna now, okay? Now we got uh, that two by ten rectangle, okay? I mean, we, we might want to show some dimensions on that. Okay, let's just see. Okay, this is, this should be 5, right? That's our 5 inches. This is our 2 inches. We're going to hold off on that for the time being. Now we want to put on over, start right here at this end point and put our 2 by 4 rectangle, okay? So our 2 by 4 rectangle is going to start right here. We're going to pull that out four and up two. So we'll put in four inches, comma, two inches, and we'll get that, okay? And uh, so what I want to do now is use my eraser so I can erase that segment right there. Now, when I point to this and ask for its area of the selection that should be 18 inches, 18 square inches. So, you know, I'm going to just put down that my base area, base area is equal to 18 square inches. Uh, equals 18 square inches. I know that the, the drawing was with um, uh, millimeters or centimeters really doesn't make any difference, okay? Now, I want to pull that back eight units, eight units. So I'm going to uh, use my push-pull, pull this back eight inches, eight inches. And that should do it, okay? Uh, I do want to make this a group so I can figure out my volume which should simply be 8 times 18, should simply be 8 times 18, okay? Um, so that should be, what, 144? So let's just group that by triple-clicking on it and making it a group, okay? And then right-clicking on and finding the group info is 144 cubic inches, okay? Or 144 cubic inches, and that is our um, our one solid right there, okay? Same thing as you saw. You're going to build a pair of steps looking very much like that, okay? Our dimension lines can be 
can be uh, added in here now. Okay, let's get the dimension lines added in. Not cooperating, sorry. This should be, this should be, uh, here is two inches. Okay, uh, it comes back eight inches. There it is showing up. Okay, uh, and then let's see here. Get this one going at six inches. Okay, so there's all my dimensions added to it. And there you have it. Okay.